Hey there, it's Patmos and welcome back to Surviving the Aftermath. Let's get going. Time flows. And let's hope that we can prepare for the next event. But first, let's get to the world map. We got some tools there. Or some of the components, I have to say. Should we return? Well, he has a lot with him, so let's return to the colony. And let's see if we can get someone else to go out. Because now we have three guys at home. Which is a bit of a waste. So we'll see who's good to go. Well, this one's a good scavenger, so we'll send him out to the world map. Completed another well. That's nice, because we need a lot of water. And finally, we are going well on the food. So... We are actually making sure that we get good amounts of food in store for the next disaster. I'm going to do some exploring and some gathering of stuff. So that's what's planned right now. Alright, he's done for this turn. Let's go to speed 2. Probably every now and then we'll go back to speed 1. Sometimes if you get further in the game, speed 2 is a bit too fast. Now, I would really like to um, get rid of all the pollution, but that's going to have to be postponed for a while. I want to do some exploration as well, so let's get two extra guard towers going. Basically, just to make sure that we can get a good view of the map. We have plenty of people now, so that shouldn't be the problem. don't like this. Although it appears not too much was damaged. Or apparently nothing, although it did fall right here, I believe. That'll be good. But with all the fallout, a lot of colonists got mutated, so we'll have to make them better. Let's hope we can do that fairly quickly. Should go pretty fast as long as everyone's in there. And yeah, the numbers are running okay, so that's good. Perhaps it's time to build another of those outposts. But I also want to upgrade a few of our houses again. Because we need those stronger huts, that's better. Especially with those meteorite storms, if they hit you. You have these stronger houses, that's always very helpful. Now we'll place this right here. See if there's any building to be repaired. Should an icon should appear rather quickly. No, there is not. So we'll just place it here. And as long as no icons appear, there's nothing to be done. So this is a quick way. Now you don't have to click all the buildings. You just click your maintenance guy. And if nothing happens, then it's fine. And now these two need to decontaminate, but that's okay. We can deal with that. With a lot of people sick, though, we don't have uh, many carriers left. It should be the case, though, that when people mutate, they don't infect others. So that's a good thing. And when they um, are irradiated, they can affect others. Alright, let's see. We have two adults, two children... Or one children and one elder, and a bit of medicine, that's good. So let's welcome them. We have another specialist as well, a scientist, so we'll send him straight to the world map. Because we want to get going with all the um, people right there. Alright, you should return to the colony. This guy is getting some stuff right there. So you can go and explore, I guess, and then get those components. That'll be good. Slowly we're gaining more research points again. Day by day, let's hope that will go fast enough. Alright, so the lumber yard has only one or two trees to go. This one doesn't have any trees to go on. Now that's not a really big issue, but it's an issue. What's this? Food. Well, there's no food to be gathered anywhere right now on the map, so... Alright, only nine are mutated now, so they did heal quite a few. Now the guard post is done. This one's almost finished, so that's good. This will do some exploration again. Let's hope we find some useful resources. 
Alright, food's growing fast, so that's nice. We have plenty of water and we have water in store. What we could do, however, is check to see if we can get more. We can get a water tower, which is nice for buildings that need water, but we can also get a large clean water storage. That'll be nice as well. We also need power at some point. Yeah, there's a lot that we need. Not that much that we can get right now. So that's a bit of the, the issue. Ooh, we could do bartering. Then, then we can trade with others. That would be nice. Let's go with that. Because then we can trade for research points or food or medicine or whatever. So that will be good. Alright, the other guard post is done as well. So they can do some exploration right here. Because people got healed, we have more carriers available now. That's very nice. We do have plenty of living space. I still want to upgrade a few more of these simple tents. Into cramped tents, because they're much stronger, and if you get hit by something, they don't... They won't get destroyed straight away, which is a nice thing. It's on the world map, he should get back to the colony, he has a lot of stuff with him. He's collecting stuff, he should be doing some exploration there. Alright, now we have three people in the colony, so we can send out one more. I think... Yeah, we'll send him. He's the best scavenger and he does the least damage, so he's less useful in defending the colony. So that's why I'm sending him out. He's going to do some exploration on this area. So... We can get everything there is on the map. At least we want it explored, and after that... Ooh, this got hit. Let's repair. The specialists are ready. He died of old age. That, that happened, so that's okay. Alright, he got all the beef, jerky, or whatever it is. Jerky. So let's do some exploration. I'm going to attack a few of those people soon as well, but I'll usually do that with, like, one or two at the same time. There's just one... Can be a bit hard. Alright, let's do some exploration. We have in this zone. Oh, some more medicine. That's useful. He will scatter six a day, ten damage. He'll be there four days of so forty damage. Alright, that's okay. He can deal with that. He's still walking. Let's go. Let's take the shortest route, of course. Alright, they're repairing that. Now, of course, we can keep an eye out on the map to see if we explore new things that we can use. Well, this isn't useful. Just a large pile of pollution. Alright, bartering is complete, so now we can set up a trade center. Let's do so, since we have the material for it. It doesn't really matter where we place it, but we can place it right here in the wasteland. That could be a good place. Because we won't use any fertile land for it then. Alright, this could go up, so they can move faster on the roads. Almost everyone's healed, that's nice. Still wish... Yeah, low on clothing. Well, that's a problem we can't really solve, because I'm not... We can upgrade the tailor, that could be a thing, but we don't have any fibers. Ah, that's the problem. And we won't get any because we didn't research that yet. We have to get to skinning. That'll give us fibers. Alright, so we need to save 150 research and then we can get to that and then we can start making new clothes again. Oh well. I mean... This is all we can build, so yeah. Well, there's that person. They should be picking him up. Or her. At some point. I believe someone's in there. Yes, there is. Alright, specialists are ready to work. Well, let's do some exploration. Ooh, this is a nice zone. There's a lot of stuff to be gathered here. Pretty easy. Right, let's do some exploration here as well. I'm hoping for some kind of a research thing again. Nope, but this is also a nice zone. A lot of good stuff to be found. 
Can he win this? It's evenly matched, so we're not going to attack yet. Let's get these tools. And he's already busy, so that's good. Alright, specialists are doing a good job. Getting a trade center. Let's see what we can get then. We can start to trade if there's anything good out there. Uh, let's hope not too many bad things happen in the coming time. Alright. Now this is a lot. Let's go to speed one for a while. There's a metal deposit and it's empty. So this guy can't go anywhere. So we'll have to move the work area. But I don't know if we have any new metal deposits. So we'll have to search for it. I don't think we have. Let's scan all of the edges of the map that we've discovered. I don't think we have a new metal deposit, so that's a problem. New trade deals are open. Alright, oh, we can trade for research points there. Some seeds, I think. Let's click it. Let's see. What's this? Alright, let's start a trade. Let's see. Soybeans. I don't know. Seeds. Yeah, this is seeds. Well, let's see. What if we want the sign point? How expensive is that? Ooh, that's pretty expensive. But they will like us more, which is good. I guess we have to offer them something in return. Well, perhaps we can offer some corn. We have plenty anyway. And this way, we can even make money out of it. Interesting. Well, rain isn't that good because we have to process it and we can't. Alright, I think this is a good deal. We get research points and money. Alright, let's confirm. Let's go. Alright, and they like us better, so that's good. We can only do one trade, so there's no use into uh, trying to do another trade. Alright, we have no free carriers left, so that's the thing we need to work on. Move this work area to the trees. A little friend, let's see. A small girl approaches with watery eyes and snot running from her nose. I can't find my cat, please, she must have run away. I can't sleep without her. The girl begs, her voice cracking. Comping the nearby woods for the cat is an option, but is it really worth it? Yeah, let's search for the cat. Alright. A few colonists venture out to look for the cat. The girl is beaming with joy, but the rest know that success is uncertain. However, the party soon returns with a massive white cat who, judging by the fish, the party is also carrying, had been hunting. All right, Lady Fuzzy Whiskers. The girl squeaks. All right. Happiness and extra food. That's nice. That makes it worth it. All we have to do now is wait for the uh, trade party to come back, which usually takes like over a day, so that'll take some time. I have to sneeze, by the way. And it's gone. All right, I don't have to sneeze. So we need to search for some metal. Well, we have some underground metal, but we need an extractor for that. That's also a thing you have to research, which is industrial mining. We need a lot of research points to get to that. Now that's a thing I found out. If you start up a new game, sometimes you get like three, maybe even four deposits pretty close by with a lot of stuff in them. And sometimes you'll only find one or two. And that could be an issue, of course. It's really nice, though, that it's it's switched a bit around, but sometimes when you only have two close by, you can get into a bit of trouble finding enough metal. Now, we still have a decent amount, although we don't need to do too many repairs with it, because that'll be an issue. But yeah, it's fine. All right, we can walk. They're all busy, so that's good. So let's hope we find some extra metal at some point. That'll be nice. This is completely filled with food. This one still has some room to spare, so that's good. Alexander was born, someone got infected and malnourished. Well, we have fish, we have corn, we have venison, we have cockroaches, and we have milk. So, we have everything we need to keep people from being malnourished. So, all they need to do... is make sure... we can get 
rid of these two, by the way, to just get all the food that they can. So it's, it's not the thing to worry about yet. If you have only one-sided food, like only fruits or only meat, then people can get malnourished and it can be a big problem for all of the colony. Right now we do have enough types of food, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Don't have any potatoes, I believe. I guess they need to harvest some. No, we do have potatoes, 16. Three colonists are sick. Dwayne is now an adult, so we get extra carrier again. Isaac was born. Well, they're pretty busy. All those kids born. Alright, we have room for 90 people. We have 68, so that's nice. Specialists are ready. Alright, he got tools. Let's do some extra exploration. There we go. Ooh, some fuel, but we don't need fuel yet. So let's get going to that place. We can start working on some tools. Here we can see the trade car coming. He's still busy, but he should be almost done. Yes, next turn he'll be done, so he can do some exploration down there. So that looks good. If we upgrade this, we only need wood and plastics. No metal, so we can upgrade these tents. That's fine. Let's get the strongest possible tents. Looks like there'll be some harvesting done soon. It should give us extra food again. Three infected, one irradiated. That means that two of our huts are still sufficient. But if we get more, we need to occupy this hut again. So we we'll have to keep an eye out on that. Yeah, there it is, because we don't want people to walk around while they can spread an infection. So they need to get to the tent straight away. Right, another cramped tent done. Two more that can be done pretty quickly. Yeah, they're done. Perfect. Let's see. Did we get anything? Oops. I really hate that. Alright, there's some metal scrap here. And there's some concrete. So, we can get our metal scrap guy to start working again. Let's move the uh, work area right there. We should be able to get these two. Where are they? Here, right. This one. To start working on the uh, concrete right here. Yep. Let's get the other one as well. Let's move the work area to get the concrete. Now we'll have to... Ooh, we'll move it a little bit so we can take this pile as well. We'll have to see if we get attacked by animals. That might be the case sometimes. So we'll have to keep an eye out. Yeah, I do see... Yeah, there are the big animals. So let's get these guys up here. You go there. You go there. We need to kill a few animals. Let's do everything at a time. Alright. He got the goods. Now let's do some exploration. Ooh, clothing. Very nice. He's gathering. He can move. So let's move there. That's fine. Let's get back to the colony. Now we have a resource expedition. What do we need? Food for the hungry, construction materials, meds for the sick or high-end resource. I'll go with meds for the sick. That's probably for the best. Alright, let's get time going. We'll slow it down a bit. We have these animals here. I could probably add someone there because they'll be helping out. Alright, she has to walk quite far and he has to walk quite far, so... They're giant boars. We need to kill. Alright, come on. Let's get here and help out. Trade convoy has arrived, so that's nice. We now have plenty of research points, so let's go and check. One of the things we had was skinning. We wanted to do that to make sure that we can produce clothing. That leaves us with 250 points. None of these is really necessary right now. Washing that helps us fight infections could be a good thing. Leadership, yeah, I don't. We could get to the reinforced gate. That could be nice. 
Well, I'll wait with that decision because I'm not sure yet what to do. First, I want my specialist to start fighting. So, yeah. Let's start shooting. There are quite a few of these big animals, so that's a problem. We really need to shoot a lot of them before it makes a difference. Right, that one is dead. Let's get this big one. There's a mouse as well. But that's not attacking us, so that's safe. Alright, we got these two. Here comes another wild boar, so let's start hunting that one. Together, please. This appears to be a guard. Ah. So, he's also fighting. Well, it does work. Let's see if we can get two more. Because then probably they can all work safely here. Let's just hope they can finish them in time before our colonist gets too badly hurt, because then I'll move her out. There's just one left, which is already a bit hurt, so that's good. Well, they're all gone, it appears. Let's get meat from it. And let's hope we really got everyone. I'll put this in here as well, so they can also collect some meat. Means extra. Ooh, there comes another one. I was afraid of that. Two more. All right. Well, he died in combat, so one guy died. That's too bad. But I think when our specialists come again, yeah, there they come. We have a good chance of killing those two as well. I do hope she heals a bit soon. She should, because it's almost time for them to do that. Yes, she did. All right. Well, let's attack that wild boar. Let's go get them both. Yep, they're gone. Alright. Well, that worked out. They should all be dead now. Skinning is complete, so now... Oops. I really hate that zoom out thing. It hurts a lot sometimes. You can just go to the map all the time. Alright. This isn't good. All those meteor hits over and over again. But it's fine. Alright, let's upgrade this one to a skinner. So we can get skins out of that as well. There's one here as well. So let's upgrade this one too. That should work out. Because that's really going to help us produce some clothing. And since we have plenty of tools now, all we do need is the clothing. This works. There's another plastic trash there. Anything else? Ooh, a lot of big animals again. How does this area look? Anything useful? Concrete, metal, scrap, plastic. Alright, wooden ruins, but also animals. So we'll have to be careful with all the animals. Perhaps in a while, we can get a few of our specialists back home to make sure that we can deal with all the animals at a go. That could be a thing. At least I hope. Alright, one skinner is done. Working pretty efficiently. We'll put two people in. As soon as the other one is done, we'll put two in there as well. Just to make sure that we have all we need. Alright, specialists are ready. Who's ready? He is. Alright, let's do some exploration. It's an enemy zone, but that's okay. Alright, he has to rest now. The other two are still busy. Progress, that's good. Carcass depleted, but that's okay. There's plenty of carcasses, so they can take them all now. I really hate it that there's so much pollution and that there's not too much we can do about it. Alright, well we have 49 fiber now. So our clothing maker should be able to make quite a bit of clothing. That's nice. If we upgrade it, 
I don't think we can still make the uh, old clothing, but I'm not sure. I'm not going to upgrade it yet. Mitchell is now an elder. All right, that's fine. Yeah. All right, plenty of food. We have water stored. Let's upgrade a few of these. Two deposits depleted. That is all okay. Logging camp, the lumber yard. We do have a forester, but it's only in the uh, area of this, but that's 100%, so that's not needed anymore. So let's plant some trees in this area. And then later on we can move the uh, forester and the logging camp to harvest the trees right here, so they don't have to walk that far. That's probably better. There are specialists ready. Well, explore then if you're ready. There's research. Ooh, I love it. 214 and 335. So let's get the research points. Really want to get them. She's getting the clothing. That seems nice. We still have research points, so now we should really find something to research. Communal eating. Cookhouse that creates meals. I think that's better for my people, but... Yeah, we also need to get to advanced farming because we can get bigger farms. That'll be nice as well. So let's do that. Let's get good meals for our people. These are all cramped tents, so perhaps we can get rid of these. Hostiles in the colony. We are attacked again by different animals, it appear. Well, you two, get over here and help defend it. Where are they? Alright, they are right there. He's going down here, so let's attack him. Go, go, go. These are the guys in the tower, which are, well, actually defending. Well, that's nice. They did a good job. Perfect. Alright, so those towers really do a good job. I'll switch them around there. Is this one still full? Yeah. Oh, they're both full. We need extra storage for food. Let's get another food storage. Put it on this side of the uh, village. Ooh, and we should go checking out the sites at some point for the resources. Alright. Where are those sites, by the way? Oh, they're pretty close. That looks nice. Well, that was a pretty easy defendable attack. I like it. Some pretty tough ones as well, so it's nice to have an easy one. Alright, there's a big bear. Another one, so we'll have to be careful with these uh, resource piles, because we'll be attacked heavily. But so far, it's not going too bad. Alright, let's move this work area. There's a dead animal right there, so let's get it. Means we can store extra food again, which is also very nice. And we should be able to get a cookhouse. Almost there. It's finished. Alright, let's see. Food. Let's get a cookhouse. Let's cook some food. But that will be something for the uh, next episode because it's been half an hour and we had quite some fun. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to reach 600 subscribers at the moment. And of course, I hope to see you in another video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.